say that we will stand up for the safety and dignity of every person for the belief that you should not be attacked for who you are. I've never really been that big of a fan of the whole slogans thing. It's slogans run, where if your slogan lasts for more than 30 months, you will start beeping for, for no reason. I mean, maybe when I was my late teens, early 20s, I might have fallen for some of it. But after I gave it any sort of thought, it's just like, what 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 is this? Why... What's with these slogans? Oh, what languages do you speak? Well, I speak English and sloganese. Someone could go up on stage, be up on that mic. They could have some... They could describe something that has to do with going down the drain. And they want to suggest that they want their... Uh, the problem that they're speaking about to go down the drain so they could manage to get people to repeat really stupid phrases like use toilet paper use toilet paper <laughs> you know I mean it's it sounds absurd when I say this but what's with some of these these phrases that they have people say and they just kind of say it blindly and I could just picture some, some almost overjoyed person going, use the toilet paper, use the toilet paper. You know, it's just, I, I, I don't understand this whole thing. I, I don't get it. Um, 
I, I understand that it works, but is it like an attempt to hypnotize, hip, hypnotize, hit, hip, 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 hooray, hypnotize people? You know, I've, I've just kind of wondered that, you know, is it a form of hypnotization? <laughs> The most important thing to have at one of these is numbers. You need to have a lot of people there. Now I understand that a lot of the things that people go up on stage to say is to try to keep people's interests to keep them there. Um, and maybe this sort of pep talk really does help some people. If it does, you know, hey, I, I, I can't speak against things that, that work for people. It doesn't work for me. I just want to be there for the numbers, you know, because that's what ends up getting reported on. There are people that go around counting people. Um, so, or tr at least trying to estimate a count of people. And so the more people that are there, the better it, it will look in that regard. The more likely it will make it onto the news for something that's peaceful. So... And then, and, and Como was there. You'll see near the end of the video there, Como was interviewing some people. Um, I'm forgetting who the, the lady is who's being interviewed. Um, I know I've seen her before, and it's driving me nuts that I can't remember who she is, but uh, anyway. subject gets talked about, I have to think about the arguments that people have against people being able to use the bathroom that matches their gender identity. And I gotta say, a lot of the arguments people make are very misandric in nature. They're suggesting that guys who would dress like women, but aren't necessarily uh, transsexual anyway. Um, only want to do that to try to, you know, molest women, or to be a peeping Tom to women, or to see women in compromising positions. Yeah, that's actually a very misandric view. Some of you that would, would say this about 
about Gaia's are the same ones who, some, and don't get me wrong, uh, are some of the same ones who get really angry when women will say something like, uh, all men are potential rapists. And yet you turn around and say something like this, yeah, it's 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 kind of weird, man. It's 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 pretty misandric. So, just thought I'd point that out. Now, my opinion about bathrooms is that they should all be, uh, as many as possible anyway, should be co-ed. And then you just get rid of that whole thing altogether. Yeah, it'd take a bit for a lot of people to get used to that idea, but you know, whatever. Um, I think that's a lot more fair than most of the other answers that I see people giving. The Bar Pack said the best on Hardball on MSNBC the other night that this, these type of attacks against the transgender community are about really see, ensuring that we cannot be seen or be in public. And because of that, I know that like all of you, transgender friends, transgender people are friends of mine, and so we must Used toilet paper. Used toilet paper. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I think that their message is a decent one, but, uh, you know, used toilet paper. And biscuits, right? Just as important for all of us who are supporters, declining the sign is really important. We all know that we're all going to decline the sign this initiative. But we have to band together to not only work for phone banks, and campuses and educating people in our communities, our co-workers, but we really need your help to raise money to ensure that we can stand together and get the message out to people who might not know transgender people. So please remember to donate at donatewwd.org. Thank you so much. Organizations can certainly help raise awareness, but I think the power of the people, just organizing in general, is pretty powerful as well. And sometimes these rallies seem like guilt trips. You know, and maybe they're not meant as that, and maybe I'm just uh, thinking about it too much, but uh, sometimes it just seems like guilt trips, and, I, and I, I'm not really down with that very much. Well, you know, you need to, you need to donate or, or you're, you're not really helping. Sort of like watching those commercials for, you know, save the children or save the animals. And they'll play some really sad song and try to make, try to pull at your heartstrings. Oh, you're not a very good person unless you do this, right? Now, again, people could argue, well, technically, that's not what they're doing. Technically, they're, I, I understand technically. Yeah, fine, whatever. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Sylvester Neal. So many struggles already since she came to me in the fourth grade and said, Grandpa, I'm a girl. She struggled with schools, she struggled with fear, she struggled with family, she's had struggles in our church, she's had struggles with our neighbors, and she's also had some additional struggles because she's biracial. And as a teenager in middle school, she's not quite black enough for some. She's not quite white enough for some. And the worst thing that she needs is another obstacle in her life telling her what bathroom that she can use. Right now. And go to 
Oh, no worries. No, no, it's... You were just out of view. <laughs> Drink all the wine. Drink all the wine. You can do all of these things, but it won't really do that much good. The only way to really do good and the only way to really defeat this is to donate money to our organization. Because N.A. is the only way. Hail the goddess! Donate www.org. Every dollar helps. I want to acknowledge and thank all of our amazing speakers today. The youth, the family members, our elected officials. I want to thank all of you for being here today. I want to thank everyone who is standing here to say that our family members, our friends, our co-workers who are transgender, we are going to decline to sign. I want to acknowledge a couple of elected officials who arrived. I'm State Representative Christine Kilda, Tacoma City Council Member, Colin Kathy, and former school board member for Tacoma School District, Karen Bale. Thank you all so much. Stay right here, hold your signs up. <laughs> Family members, friends, people in my life who are transgender, they are people we love. Decline to sign. Decline to sign! Decline to sign! Say the motto with me. Palabra chat. Palabra chat. Now watch.
here's a Como interviewing someone. And what I found interesting is there's this thing that, this pledge that people are signing that's declaring that they're not going to sign the other thing. And I was like, well, is this an initiative by itself? It's like, no. It's like, well, what database does this go into? And the, the, the information that was given is, it was limited. I just didn't really get any actual info on, you know, what, what does this thing do? I still, you know, put my little pledge on there that I'm not gonna sign this, this other thing, but I think that's weird to sign something to declare that you're not going to sign something. But. So, anyway, 